Hey there guys, welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and uh, in this video we're going to be talking about how to find the area of a triangle using the sign rule. Now before we get started, this is going to be our website address where you can explore more about us, our Facebook page to give us your valuable like and our email address to give us your valuable feedback. So suppose you've already watched the introduction to sign rule video in which you know what is sign rule. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use that expression to find the area of a triangle using the sign rule. So let's suppose if we have a triangle, any triangle, whether it's obtuse, acute or a right angle triangle, it doesn't matter. So we have A, B, C here and uh, this opposite to A it's A, opposite to B is B and opposite to C is C. These are the sides. Now let's suppose I want to find the area of the triangle. Now what I'm going to do is I, let's suppose C is the base and I want to find the val the height here, right? So what is going to be this height? Now, as you know that H over A, H over A is actually going to be equal to sine B and H over B is actually going to be equal to sine A, isn't it? This height, H over A that, you know, that sine is perpendicular over hypotenuse. Right, H over A is going to be sine B and H over B is going to be sine A, which means the height of the triangle is A sine B and height of the triangle is B sine A. Now, what is the area of a triangle? Area of a triangle is given by half times base times height. That is something which is known as the area of a triangle. Right? So area of the triangle is half times base times height. So if the base is C, height is H. So the area of the triangle is actually equal to half times C times H. Now this H is something that I can actually replace in two ways. That is as A sine B and B sine A. So that means I can say that, that the area of a triangle, so I'm just going to write it with a different colored pen. So area of a triangle is actually going to be equal to half times C times h. h is something which can be written as a sine b or area of a triangle can also be equal to half times b which is b here right uh, I'm sorry b sine a here times c right so we are actually written as b c sine a. Similarly if I take this as my another height this as my another height let's suppose this is h1 right then I can actually write H1 in again two ways. H1 over A is going to be equal to sine C and H1 over uh, H1 over C is going to be sine A. So if I want to involve sine C as well, the area of the triangle which will be equal to half times base. Now if this is the height then this is the base. So the base is B and h1 is equal to a sin c. So h1 is equal to a sin c. So area of a triangle can be equal to half a b sin c or it can be equal to half a c sin b or it can be equal to half b c sin a. Right. So uh, this is actually very easy to remember. Area of a triangle can be equal to half a b sin c or it can be equal to half b c sin a or it can be equal to half a c sine b right so you have each l each letter occurring at least once a b c a b c a b c fine so uh, suppose you're understanding this point over here guys let's go ahead and see this question here okay so let's see this question let's say we have this question here so the question says that we have a triangle a b c so we have a triangle a b and c AB is 5, BC is 6, and ABC is x degrees. So given that the area of ABC is 12, and AC is the longest side, uh, what is x? Now, the we have to find the area of this triangle. So area of this triangle ABC will actually be equal to half times AB times BC times sine x. Now, how do I know that? Because if I say this is B, so this is side B, this is side C, and this is side A. Because opposite to C would be C, opposite to A would be A, opposite to B would be B. So it's going to be half B A, so it's going to be half 
B C. I'm sorry, A C sine B. As you can see, A C sine B. So that is what I have used. Triangle of A B C is equal to half A C sine B. So it's very important to label the diagram before you actually go ahead and hit uh, the expression there, right? So that is what I've used half A B sine B. So that is going to be half into A B is nothing but which is actually equal to five. B C is nothing but which is equal to six. And sine x is uh, what I need to find. That is actually equal to the area of the triangle which is given to me as 12. So from here, 6 times 2 is 12. And the sine x is actually going to be equal to 4 by 5. Right? So if I, uh, sine x is going to be equal to 4 by 5. So if I just uh, use the calculator, x is going to be equal to approximately 127 degrees. Again, I will get two different answers. I'll get 127 degrees and I will get 180 minus 127, which is actually equal to uh, 3 and uh, 53 degrees. Right? However, as you know that AC is the longest side. So since this is the longest side, I'm going to have the longest, largest angle opposite to it. So that means x would be equal to 127 degrees rather than 53 degrees. Because if this angle is 53, then one of these angles would be greater than 53. Then it's not possible because AC is the longest side. For this to be the longest side, this has to be the largest angle. Fine. So I suppose you're understanding this point over here, guys. So thank you very much for watching this video. And uh, in the future videos, I suppose you'll be watching uh, the cosine rule and all those rules. So you'll be able to understand that. Now before we depart guys, make sure that you explore our website. That is perfect-course.com. A lot of exciting stuff here, right? And uh, this would be our Facebook page to give us your valuable like. And this would be our email address to give us your valuable feedback. So this would be about this video guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.